All right, so here we have Crocodile against Ace, and we will mulligan this, and we are going second. Oof, not a better car, a uh, better hand, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll try to make and do with this. So he's starting with white beer pirates, and he he actually whiffed. So that's good for us. And here, I think I'm just going to pass. Next turn, if I don't get anything, I'll play Sanji's Pilaf. And then the following turn, I'll play the Eastern Tomorrow. And that is if I don't get anything. And since he's attacking, I'm guessing he's not getting anything either. So we'll actually take this. Okay, so we have Soge King and he's not playing anything. So we will attack for five. Just to see if he's going to take. If he doesn't. Alright, so he took. And we will draw two cards. And then just play the um the law. So we have a pretty decent hand. And I think next turn it's safe to play Santamaru to get the pacifista. And he keeps attacking with just his leader. So he's attacking for nine. Which is that's that's a lot. <laughs> oh, I could have I could have blocked. Should have blocked, but that's fine. That's okay, that's okay. We will attack for five. And see what he's going to do. Is he going to do an ability or is he going to take? What is he going to do? Come on, it's not that uh, hard of a decision. Alright, so he took, which is fine. And here we will play the Santamaru. And we'll take this Pacifista and enter. So here we're it's a bit risky because he can easily do harvest or anything else really. He could do a uh jet pistol or something along those lines. So, okay, so he decided to Marco, which is very good for us. And here I can simply, because uh, I'll be at 8, I'll be at 8. Mm. So maybe I'll drop the Sintamaru. So, this, honestly, I'll just discard the Soge King just like that and we'll keep going oh okay so that's interesting so here that's for, for sure I'll play that but I'm like that I don't want to see you nope 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 and here we'll just do 6-6 six, six, I think and then I'll drop the Santamaru and depending on what he, he does mm, okay and then here we will just drop the Santamaru and hopefully it sticks and all right so the Marco here and uh, okay so he dropped two Marcos and a an attack so okay, so I have an uh, I have options here so it's okay for sure. I'll block with uh, I'll block with the uh, I'll counter with crocodile just to let it go. And here, like one of the, like what I mean by options is that I could play. So he did white beer spirit and he revealed uh, Josu. So here I can make him play the Marco again. So yeah, so I'll. Drop the Dof, the Dof Flamingo, the seven cost of Flamingo, and attack. 
So that means I drop the Doflamingo and I need three for that. So I'll attack with um, Pacifista. Hopefully he Centamaru doesn't die from a trigger. Maybe I should have activated the ability. But um, okay. Okay, so so far we're doing pretty well. Okay, so he discarded the guard point to use the ability of Ace. So that means we are free to do what we wanted. So we're gonna bounce back the Marco and put one down on Centamaru. And then we'll play a Pacifista and we'll play the four cost 6,000 attack Pacifista and we'll end our turn. So here we have a pretty full board, which I think it's Almost no, I don't think it's possible for him to come back. We have a bunch of 2k counters, and all right, so he he decided to discard my my law, which is a okay with me, and uh, because I will simply uh, just 2k 2k counter, and then here I will do two things one, I will bottom deck the uh, one of the Marcos. So, or I can just do, no, yeah, I'll bottom, I'm bottom decking it, right? So that means I can do five here. Oh, well, attack for five. Five of my leader. All right, so he took, we'll put six here. With Pacifista, he take, we'll do, attack for six to the leader he took we will bottom deck one of the marcos and we will do five to leader oh actually that was a misplay bit of uh oh, see, okay so he decided to discard the guard point uh the radical beam instead of using it well i guess it's the same same thing and then here, uh, just because I can, I'll do four to get rid of this, and we will attack for seven. I'm guessing he has another radical beam. If, um, yeah, so he has the other radical beam. Yeah, so here, I think we're in a very good position. There's no way he can clear my board, and he doesn't have enough cards to counter. So, all right, okay, so he has two, two Marcos, but one will get bounced back. And here he has the, the Flame Emperor. So he, he has an event for his, uh, okay, so he gave up, yeah. So that was a pretty straightforward game. Fortunately for us, we were able to pull off our Centamaru. So this, uh, this Crocodile list is working out pretty well. Still testing it out seeing uh, um, how crocodile plays i'm not a big uh blue player uh, i haven't played a lot of blue decks since op1 so this is kind of new to me but uh, i think we did pretty well considering we were against ace and like i said we were able to pull off our centamaru which is i think a vital card for this deck and like we like we did in this game i believe that it's better to play it after uh, a couple of turns when you can actually activate the ability instead of just playing it on curve and just waiting for it or like hoping that it, it's not gonna get killed so yeah make sure to subscribe if you enjoy these uh, videos and leave a like if you're enjoying this content and please let me know in this uh, in the comments below which deck you want me to play next. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.